What is up my fellow Dragon Ball fans, as you guys know my name is Seb256 and you're back again watching another let's game for Dragon Ball Xenoverse. This time Ina is taking on the ruthless guinea force that consists of Goldo, Jace, Birder, Raccoon, and Ginyu himself. Now these guys have a really good reputation of being, oh no, I want to say good, good air quotes, I'm doing air quotes right now guys, but good reputation of being one of the strongest squads back in the Namek saga or the Namek era. Um, hopefully Ina has a good, uh, good chance, I feel like Ina has a good chance of taking them down though because we have the, we have the element of surprise, they still, along with Nappa and Vegeta and Raditz and all them, they don't know what a Majin is, so we have the upper hand right there. But anyways, enough, you know, enough boasting, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the very first one, which is those weird guys, Ginyu Force. Now, something I, I want to do in the beginning of my videos now is actually ask you guys uh, a question uh, at the beginning of all my videos, like I said. Um, I feel like it's a great way to kind of connect and talk to you guys as a, uh, you know, and now all of us just kind of communicate with each other, all right? So the very first question I have for you guys is, um, are you upset about the the move of that the Dimps decided to do with uh, the Majin Race? How they um, kind of gave the Majin Race the same fighting style as Kid Vu when they transform into their pure forms. Um, personally, personally, it doesn't really bother me, but I can see why others don't like that because it doesn't seem like, they were, it seems, those people that say developers are lazy, I can see those type of people saying, oh, they're lazy, they're just giving us this a copy and paste of uh, Kid Vu. you know, we want something brand new, we want something unique. I, I, I get that, I understand that, I, where, I see where it's coming from. Um, but then again, like, like everyone has said for the last couple of weeks, it's, it's they're literally just copies of Kid Buu, so they're gonna have the same. They're gonna have the same uh, fighting style. Now, per uh, personally, I would have liked to see a little more changes to it. We just, but um, I could be wrong. We could all be wrong. There could be a lot of creative uh, liberties that they took with the move set or the fighting style that we just don't know about from the few seconds or few moments uh, that we saw in the trailers of the Kid Buu transformation. So we kind of all just have to wait and wait till we get our hands on the game to kind of form a great opinion on it. So we could all be wrong and they could have done something amazing or we could all be right and we could still enjoy it because we're all going to still enjoy the game. Um, but everyone still has, you know, the deferring opinions on it and I would like to know that. So if you guys have an answer to my question, what? leave that down in the comment Father? section below and I'm going to make sure to, Father you know, read all of them and uh, reply to reply to everyone no. basically. That's what I want to do. I, I want to reply. I want to talk to all you guys, all right? <laughs> yeah, that little, the little, you know, thing they had him do, but that I, was really I funny when I first saw it in uh, PS3. I feel like, I, I feel like the uh, Ginyu taking Vegeta's body was a really strategic move. Just if, if, if you, if you, if Dragon Ball was real, and we saw Ginyu take over Vegeta's body, then take over Goku's body, that was a, that would have been a really strategic move that we would all have been like, damn, we don't want to mess with Ginyu because he, he figured out, hey. You know what? Don't go after the hardest person you know ever to take down. Go with someone that's kind of weak, kind of thrown off. You know, don't know, don't know um, that they don't know that they're outclassed. Take their body, have my squad beat up the main guy, and then hop back in when is the right opportunity. So all of the things they just did was pretty much the best thing they could have done. If they did that in the real Dragon Ball, the real Dragon Ball storyline, God. Frieza would have had no problem becoming an immortal, an immortal with the Dragon Balls. He like, maybe he would have no complications besides trying to find the password. Find, figure out what the password is. That's the only thing he would have needed to do, and that would have been really easy because no one would be in his way. What? Oh yeah, I gave Ina a brand new outfit because it was time for a change. But along with that new outfit comes new moves, as you guys will see right now. Once I get some more energy. Whew. The only move I kept was a uh, burst Kamehameha because oh come on damn you had to go up against Vegeta. But yeah, the only one I kept was a uh, uh, burst Kamehameha just because that's the best best blast in the game, a special attack in the game for as far as long distance blast. Um, from at least from in my opinion it is. Oh come on, can you stop doing that damn evasive? There we go. Oh, come on, keep missing with that. <laughs> it's okay, though. There you go, get off of Vegeta. Leave him alone. Be careful. 
the heck are you? You've got some nerve. That's none of your concern. Oh, come, every time I do that move, he, he always moves away. Right. I'll fight you all. You may have seemed like a weakling at first. So you check this out. You're at not. The cabinet is really excited for this. Right. So the winner of rock, paper, scissors gets the rest of them. This is Zuz. I win. Gotcha. You stand no chance. Release your power. When they when this happened in the anime, when they powered up in the anime for the first time, because I remember seeing it on Toonami when they first aired that episode, this episode. Man, when they did that and they kind of ended on that cliffhanger, like, oh, well, they beat the Guinea Force. I was so hyped back then. Like, because, like, they, they really thought with this brand new power that at least go on as that, like, they would be able to pull off a great comeback. Please, protect everyone and defeat the enemy. Never underestimate the Prince of All Saiyans! He seems so strange. It is power wise because of what in the changed history can you did a body change with father you're all so quick and annoying like stinking flies Whoa. captain really does seem like yeah, Miri kill vegeta okay i wanted to kind of save vegeta but oh well did you eat the last piece of gift cake again i didn't eat that how many times do i have to tell you it wasn't me there we go we finally got the move off all right See, that move is awesome. I feel like it fits, you know, really well. This kind of reminds me of a, a, a weaker version of Victor, uh, Victory Rush, just because it doesn't have the teleportation. Ooh, come on, Raccoon. See, it's kind of boring when they don't fight back. I want them to actually, like, hit me, you know, and actually hit me, do some damage. I mean, over... Over time, they're going to do some damage, but I want them to actually make it Seems challenging for me. They were kind of just like sitting there. Well. Shut up, Elder Kai. I was doing all the work. Um, but yeah, they were just kind of sitting there. That's, I've said this time and time again. I want them to make the NPCs more challenging. I want them to actually make them, you know, useful too when you have them on your side. The, not just not just test dummies, pretty much. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and jump into the next part of the Ginyu Saga, and I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Goku clashes with Ginyu for us. Hmm. Okay. I could have swore this happened. This part happened. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Okay, never mind. That makes sense. I forget. <laughs> I forget Goku doesn't show up until right at this point. Another epic moment in the anime. I remember when they uh, showed Goku's uh, feet prints in the ground. And they Goku, barely moved from his spot. Like as far as far as they show from the footprints, he barely moves. And I remember go, like Vegeta and everyone freaking out, like, "Oh my God, he's just standing still and everything." <laughs> like we barely saw him move. Like that was that was the most epic part of it. No way. What's going on? Raccoon is. That attack was supposed to be nothing. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Jesus is like, what the hell? I'm pretty sure I can stop it. Trillin, Gohan, use the dragon radar. Try to find all the dragon balls. My guess is that they are probably at their space. I don't feel any strong powers there. Nothing in that direction. Just try to feed. Why the hell's my stamina down? Catch up with you. All right. That does not make any sense. Why the hell's my stamina down? Hmm. It's okay, Ginyu. We'll I'll get rid of those for you. These are bad guys for you. They don't listen to your rules. Fine. No matter. We'll finish this quickly. See, he has all this time in the world to hit me, and he's just going back and forth. Another oh, he dodged my spirit sword. All right. 
Good job, Jace. You're actually doing something smart. Nope, don't got enough yet. Okay. And you a death ball. See, I, I wish we got that, uh, what was that move? Like, we never found out what that move, uh, Frieza used in, um, uh, Re Resurrection F, that big, that super giant blast. Like, he shot at, uh, Goku, and Goku blocked him with his burst command, man. Was that, like, a golden death ball? Because, I mean, no, it wasn't, well, actually, it wasn't golden death ball because he wasn't in his golden form yet, but that was no normal energy blast. And I hope to God they put it in the universe too as a move because it was awesome. Like when I first, when he shot that thing off, he barely charged it. It was already like it was already ready. This must be worth it. Can you be in a girl's body? <laughs> what? Oh wait, damn, Bird is still alive. Okay. Calm down for now. So is Jace. It's okay. There should be a chance to get okay. back to normal. I thought I killed Jace. Uh, I don't get any of my moves. Okay. I forgot. I forgot this happens. Excuse me! What is this I actually like Ginyu's actually fighting style. It makes it is really, really good. It's fast. Something weird is going on here. It feels different than it did earlier. Hey! Did you I knew he could do it? Goku figured it out. Hey, Goku's gonna be smart sometimes. Not on our side anymore. You know, not when it comes to figuring things out, but like, oh, you know, if you watch, if you watch like the last couple Dragon Ball Super episodes, he, he makes some smart decisions or smart either. He talks smart, you know. That's uh, that's not the best way to say it, but he comes up with really good ideas in the last couple episodes. So don't knock you, uh, Goku's intelligence. I'm not gonna lose, so I'm gonna take some health real quick. Oh, he got out of it, damn. I almost killed him with that, okay. It's okay. I gotta beat up my own body now, sorry. That was awesome. That little, like, dis not, uh, I was supposed to say disco move. That little, uh, break dancing move that Ginyu does. And go look for the Dragon Balls? Looking like that. Walk right into their spaceship without any trouble. Think I can trust you. Please. I see. I think that move never works unless you hit them away. So I don't know why I was trying to hit him with that. Or hit her with that. worried about your body, sure. But you know, I'm positive you can do it. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. I'm counting on you. Finish. What grade did we get? Let's see. An S? Maybe a Z? I don't think a Z. Probably an S. Yes, we did. Good job. Good job, you know.